Hello everybody. Today I'm going to explain how to solve the problems D and E from the Art Coder Beginner Contest 163. This contest was held in some special conditions because the site went down during the first 10 or 15 minutes and the task couldn't be loaded from the normal interface. Still, some tasks were quite interesting, such as D and D. And now I'm going to explain the solution for these tasks. Problem D, we have n plus 1 integer uh, ranged from 10 at the 100 to 10 at the 100 plus n. And we will choose k or more of this integer. And we need to find the possible values of the sum, the number of such values. Since each integer is of type 10 at 100 plus something, this means that we can separate the problem for each length of the chosen array. Now I'm going to write for some n, let's say n equal to 4. What does this mean? So basically we have 10 at 100. 10 at 100 plus 1. 10 at 100 plus 2. 10 at 100 plus 3 and 10 at 100 plus 4 since uh, I've already stated that 10 at 100 is big enough and this means we can separate the problem for each k let's see what uh, possibilities we have for some value of k basically the minimum sum we can get is by choosing the smallest uh, i number for some i. So basically, the mean sum. I'm going to ignore the 10 at the 100 because uh, they are in each term and they don't affect the final answer. Basically, the mean sum is i multiplied by i minus 1. Divided by 2. Why is this true? Because we can choose this one, this one, this one, and so on. And this is a well known formula 0 plus 1 plus so on. For the maximum sum, however, uh, we will choose the biggest i number this one, this one, this one, and so on. For the maximum sum, we will choose the numbers from n minus i plus 1 up to n and basically this can be done by computing the sum of the first n numbers minus the sum of the first n minus i number basically a simple inclusion exclusion more formally n multiplied by n plus 1 divided by 2 minus n minus i multiplied by n minus i plus 1 divided by 2 and all we have to do is to compute this sum for each i from k to n plus 1 because as i said the values are from 10 at 100 to 10 at 100 plus n now i'm going to move to the implementation Basically, uh, for simplicity, I have computed some prefix sum because we can, and the minimum sum is basically the sum of the first i minus one integers, and the maximum sum is sum of the first n integers minus the sum of the first n minus i integers, as I mentioned in the sketch type. Now we all we have to do is to add up to the answer the value of max sum minus min sum plus 1 because we can get all these sums since we have numbers from 1 to n and we have to add up all the answers now I'm going to move to problem E problem E was my favorite problem from this contest uh, firstly because I got this solution quite fast and secondly because it's actually an interesting problem which is not obvious from the first reading. Basically, we are given n children and uh, 
we know the value of each ch child. And we need to rearrange these children such that the value of the gain earned for all the children is maximized. The sum of this value for each child. And uh, even though this problem seems hard, after looking at the formula, we are going to see some nice observations. For some child, the formula is like this Ax multiplied by absolute value between x and y, where i is the new position where we are going to move the child. Let's uh, compose this formula. Basically, it depends on the value of the child, which cannot be changed by us since these values are already given, but it also depends on the difference between the current position and the next position. Now I'm going to claim that if we have a big number, we should always move it to one of the ends of the array. Since the number is already big, we strive to increase also the value of the absolute value. And this can be done in one of the two cases. Either we bring x to 1 or some left position, or x to n or some right position. Because this will increase the value of the absolute value. Since you all know the value of the absolute value is a function v shape with the lowest point at exactly i equal to x. What does this mean? Basically, uh, based on my claim, I will sort the array and I will do a dp. How will the dp look like? Basically, we have dp of lr to be equal to the biggest sum we can obtain if we are left with uh, completing the positions from R to R. Now I'm going to move to the implementation in order to explain the states better. Basically, I, as I said, I'm going to sort the values in the array and also keep the initial position because this will help us compute the values in the DP state. Now, we are going to start from the length equal to n, since at the beginning we didn't fix any value. Also, we are going to fix the value of the starting position, because this will help us find the answer for a given state. If the length is equal to 1, basically we have completed all the states except for one state, we should update the answer based on the value of the dp and uh, the product between the value and the absolute value between the initial positions and the position where we are going to insert it. ST basically means left. Uh, I have written this in my native language because I initially wanted to get it fast, but then after the round turned out to be unrated, I realized this was a mistake, but not that much of a mistake because I can't explain it now. Otherwise, if the length is not uh, 1, we have two options. Either we move it to the leftmost position, or we move it to the rightmost position. As you can see, the transitions are similar, because we are going to uh, consider the current state of the DP and the value of the current number, and also the absolute value between the initial position and the position where we are going to insert the value. As you can see, even though this problem seems hard at the first reading for most of the contestants, it actually turns out that we can solve it in like 10 lines or 50. If you liked watching this video, please like the video, subscribe to my channel and also press the bell button in order to be the first one to get video editorials right after content. Also, you can join the Discord server for nice events and also for more interaction with me and with the other subscribers. Until the next time, stay safe, stay healthy, good luck and goodbye.